So welcome back beautiful people to another murder and makeup. Before I start, I just want to say that I mean absolutely no harm to anyone that I talk about in this video and also everything I found, I found, I found on the internet. So let's start. So Yuhani Atamin Poika was born on the 31st of July 1820. 1826 so he is a Leo. He is known as one of the most prolific killers in Finnish history with with 12 kills. There is not much known about uh, Johannes childhood. All we know is that he left home at the age of 15 to live a nomadic life and uh, he started to conduct some small crimes. In October of 1849, he was charged, charged for stealing horses and imprisoned. During his imprisonment, he was taken from Hamelina prison to Hauho, where the court was to be held for where he went to court for his crimes. So during the during the transportation he escaped and started a homicide spree that lasted for about five years if five weeks. In Romney he killed the master and mistress of the Heli Croft for revenge with a man named named Gustav Kratula. So Johanni pretended to be a man who lost his horse and asked asked for asked for a place to sleep. Then when the other patrons of the house were sleeping, he unlocked the door for Gustav and Gustav gave some kind of a rock to Johanni which Johanni used to hit the master of the house over the head. And Gustav killed the mistress, mistress of the house with a bill, which is a wood cutting tool. And after hitting the master in the head with the rock, Johanni also stabbed him to make sure that he was dead. So from there Johanni went back to his hometown in Joenniemi Heinola, where he killed his stepfather by beating him with a crowbar, and the mother and two children flee to the forest, obviously because someone was killing like their husband and father. <laughs> so then Johanni traveled to Saima Canal from Joenniemi, killing more people on the way. Johanni killed a man to get his certificate, which he used to get a job as a pastor. So at the beginning of November, Johanni returned to Lammi, from which he left with his friend Antti Suikko to go to the Tilgo Croft in the village of Hattelma, Hattelmala, with intentions to rob people. So the man trust the Turu to the house, stealing the money from the craft and assaulting the tenants who lived there, only leaving when they thought that all of the tenants were dead. So the old mistress from the house died, but uh, but all the others who were living in the house and were assaulted survived. Shortly after, on the 20th of November, Johanni was, was caught in Baisa, which is near Lammi. He was caught in Baisa, which is near Lammi, near the border between Lammi and Padasjoki. So he was caught and he went to trial and at the end of the trial, the Weiborg Court of Appeal sentenced him to death. 
The sentence was up, upheld in the Senate's, Senate's Department of Justice, but the Emperor commuted it to for the lashes of a whip and a life sentence. So he was transferred in, transferred in January of 1853 to Suomelina and kept there trained to the wall until his death in 1854. So Johani was also known by the nickname of Gelbeikari, uh, uh, which means executor and uh, from the Swedish word something like that. He was famous in his own time, but his actions were eventually forgotten. He did not end up end up with the same level of fame as same level of fame as for example Matti Haapoja, who I will be doing a video in the future. In the 2000s, however, he once again spark, sparked interest for researchers. So it is said that there will be a film or movie about Juhani Aatamin, about Juhani Aatamin Poika and his life. So the script is written by Kali Hiatalahti and, and film is to be directed by Peter Franson. So in the earlier plans, the movie was to be released in 2017, but as of 2020, the movie hasn't yet been finalized, has not been financed. So this is the end of the video. Like, comment and subscribe or watch another video if you'd like. Bye bye.